Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today, this uh, Honda GX 160, and as you could see, hopefully, it's very smoky. I've only just recently rebuilt this. So today we're gonna figure out, although I'm pretty sure I know what the issue is, what's wrong with the old girl? So, I have a good idea of what the issue is. And also another thing, it is a bit warm, so I wouldn't really recommend doing what I'm doing, but time is of the essence for me, so I'm going away. So it's just gotta be done. That is quite warm though. It'll be alright. So it's burning excess oil in the chamber, which means that the piston rings are too warm. I don't know if you can see that on the video, but there's oil all over that, and that's a brand new spark plug. It's quite funny as well, because I like rebuilt this off the camera, because I thought, oh, I'll just do this quickly. And then, um, after the only thing I didn't replace on this engine was the piston. The piston and the rings, because they, well, I did check them, and the wear seemed all right. And I started her up, I was like, yes, happy days, good condition, and then boom smoked and I left it running for a good like 40 minutes an hour just kept smoking I was like ah, such is life but then I thought this would be great because a lot of my videos are just of the engines already in bits so I'll show you one that needs some love and affection it's a bit warm I need to take the fuel tank off. I have to disconnect it from the car anyway. But I might be able to get away with it. Maybe. This is the perfect size for the fuel line. It is just the biggest hack ever. I don't think there's a crazy amount of fuel in there anyway. Actually, I might be able to get away with it if I disconnect that. Might not have to take it off. I'll just move it to the side. Get the carb off. Right there, so it doesn't spill. Cause me grief. Oh, this, is, this is annoying. Let's see if we can do it without taking it, taking the fuel tank off. We might be able to get away with it. But to be fair, I might even be able to get that spring out. I think I've done this before. I don't know if I've done it on video because I won't really suggest it, but let's try it out and see if it's possible. It's a bit of a ball at getting these back in, that's the only thing. Oh, it should be doable actually. This is alright, that's alright. I'll be able to get that off. God, that was tight. Tighten that up correctly. Happy days. There we go. So the way that we notice the piston is press left and right. We do that like that. Is when we have a look at it. We'll be able to see if the gasket's blown. Which I doubt because it was brand new. Literally brand new. Or if the piston is letting oil through. Which is probably what's happening. That's my early guess in all. It gets a bit messy. Right, 
Hmm. That gasket does look a little bit worn, to be honest. I don't get how it's brand new. But there's a lot of oil around the bottom of it, which means that. And there's a lot of oil. Let me get one. There's a lot of oil coming out of there. Which is weird. <sighs> Fucking hell. It's like carbon as well. Where is that coming from? That's, that, that's just from the reaction of the excess oil. So I don't know whether that oil was actually coming out of here. Because I'm pretty sure that oil can't go in there. Or... If that's just excess oil that's ended up down there. So the oil should drain back down into there. So I guess it must be coming out of there. Yeah, look at that. I don't know if you can see that on the video, but that's not supposed to push any oil through. Ah, I see. So the oil's coming through because that ring's worn and then it's leaking down into there. So there's almost a constant supply of oil being burned. Which is why the bottom of the gasket was saturated as well. So I'll do it one more time. And you can just see loads of oil. And that doesn't seem like a lot, but that's every stroke. And like, if that does thousands of RPMs a minute, it's thousands of times, hence the oil. Burning, burning, burning. So if you just watch the bottom here, you should be able to see it. You get the right way. So as you get to that stroke there, there's loads of oil sat. And all these bits here, carbon, that's the oil and the fuel burning at the same time. Hence why you get bits off these older engines that are just caked in it. So yeah, I did think it would be that to be fair. So, there you have it. Fine, we diagnosed it, figured out what the issue was. Whole thing. Um, but yeah, so if you do have like blue smoke, it's usually blue, it's bluey white, whatever. Then usually, it'd be something in the bore. Because obviously these aren't supposed to smoke at all. But if you do like rebuild the engine, then initially it's going to smoke for like 5-10 minutes when you're burning off the excess oil from when you're installing the parts. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please like and subscribe for more like this. But yeah, have a nice day. Hopefully it's sunny and warm where you are. Yeah, peace.